Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of Housebound. So, uh, yeah, this one's from 2014, but uh, we just did this one on the podcast, so I, I figured since I enjoyed it, uh, I'd go ahead and, and give it a review. Um, but I'll give you the podcast details as well so you can catch more about that film in a minute. But uh, to start off, as usual, um, cast and crew information down below, along with um, some other information, including the IMDb plot, which I'll read to get this started. A young woman is forced to return to her childhood home after being placed under house arrest, where she suspects that something evil may be lurking. All right, so again, uh, where the scary things are, um, the podcast on all the usual pa- podcast platforms, uh, we talked about it, we interviewed the main actress, um, so, you know, we, I, I enjoyed the movie there, and i um, surprised I didn't see this back in, in when it was released, but um, since I enjoyed it and since we had fun with the interview, I thought I'd go ahead and, and give a little review as well. Um, talk about the film a little bit. Uh, spoiler alert: uh, I'm, you know, since this is back in 2014, I'm gonna speak freely about this movie and <clears throat> feel it's important to do so because there's there's a, um, to you know convey my entire thoughts about this and and um, to talk about some films that that may be related to this movie um, or inspirations of this movie. Um, so th- there's your your spoiler. Um, in case you haven't seen it and, and, are, and whatever, there is, a, there is a twist towards the end, which I will talk about. So that's why I kind of give the spoiler away. Um, anyway, this does, does, um, follow a, a girl named, a young woman named Kylie. And, uh, at the very good beginning of the movie, you see her and her friend try to, to rob an ATM and it kind of goes wrong. And, uh, that's how she ends up under house arrest. Um, you know, she's kind of the rebel type. She doesn't want to um, listen to her parents. She gets stuck back at home with her mom. Um, so, you know, she, she's kind of rebellious to start. Um, the thing about this movie is, is, is it progresses. It's kind of like <clears throat> three movies in one. Um, you have this beginning of the movie where they, they go out of the way to show um, how rebellious she is and how she doesn't want to take orders from her parents and so forth. Um, her mom mostly. Um, she, you know, she's under house arrest. She doesn't want to do it. Um, you know, she's poking around the house, and, and her parent, her mom tries to get her to do stuff, but she doesn't want to do it, and and so forth. So you get that early on. Um, then you get a dose of the supernatural, or or um, that they suspect something of that type is happening in the house. Um, at first, you know, Kylie doesn't really believe the mom. The mom is the one who kind of saw it, but she's not really sure. Um, the mom is, you know, a little bit submissive and so forth. And um, so they go through that period of, of kind of investigating and seeing what's going on. There are a couple of scenes where um, Kylie gets, you know, because she's digging around the house or she hears things. Um, she has an interesting fight with this, this little teddy bear. Um, hears voices and so forth. Um, so she kind of goes through that. Then it almost switches into, uh, you know, they keep you on your toes in this movie. You know, they, they, they kind of get you going one direction and they kind of get you going in another, um, which is what I, I like about the movie. Um, it's good. It's not just a simple, uh, straightforward, okay, it's supernatural and, and that's it. You know, where's the ghost coming from? Let's get rid of the ghost. Um, you know, the, they have the guy who um, puts the ankle bracelet on her, who's in charge of keeping her in the house. Um, he gets involved, and, um, you know, while he's supposed to be the one overlooking her and her, her, her ankle bracelet, um, in a way he kind of befriends her, still not taking off, just taking off the bracelet and letting her run free, but um, kind of befriends her and uh, wants to do his own detective work here. And uh, so he kind of gets involved in helping her here and they find out a, a nearby neighbor who's done some weird stuff in the past um, they suspect that he might be um, involved 
And they also, and I should, I guess, point out, um, since I'm spoiling everything, is that, you know, this house isn't just a normal house. I guess it used to um, uh, have, uh, you know, young teens in it who were in trouble. I don't I don't remember exactly if it was a, a, a hospital, per se, or, or what um, exactly was there. But let's say just it, it, it treated people there or it was like a psychiatric place, something like to that effect. Um, so that kind of um, is where they, they lead you with the supernatural thing but then there's other things um, like I said in play here which lead them to a neighbor who you think might be um, up to, to no good and uh, they kind of portray him in that way uh, and so you know you have to it turns into the, to that kind of direction and then there's little bit of uh, action scenes there and they, they think that you know he's gonna kill them and so forth uh, but all it really turns out to be is just just add to more clues to what's going on here and uh, ultimately you know throughout the movie you know she has people checking on her you know she has a, a doctor and so forth that checks on her and um, lo and behold you know uh, I'm not going to give away, you know, what is happening here, but it's not supernatural. Let's just say say that much. Um, it, it, one of the one of the people involved in this movie um, is the ultimate person here, who's responsible for everything bad that's happening here. Um, as far as the supernatural, that kind of gets explained because there's actually someone who's living in the in the walls of the of their house. And they just don't know it, um, and that's where like the supernatural kind of stuff comes in. Um, and apparently that person has been living there for a really long time uh, back to you know when these uh, kids or whatever were living there before and uh, so that's an interesting twist because you don't really see that coming uh, you, you kind of get sucked into yeah it's supernatural then maybe oh, okay maybe the neighbor had something to do with it um, but then you have this person in the walls and um, you know I, I you know I guess giving it away a little bit uh, the person in the walls is, is even when they get introduced, um, you think that maybe they're the ultimate ones behind it, but they're not. Um, they're kind of a victim of circumstance and, and what happened back then, and, and um, obviously to stay in the walls that, that long, um, you're not right and something's going wrong at some point. So that kind of gets explained and so forth. Um, but yeah, you know, somebody that, that's involved in this situation, you know, like I said, she, she runs into several people who are treating her and trying to keep her there um, and so forth. They're the ultimate ones. And there's a fun scene, um, you know, where, where that person chases her and her mom um, at the end of the movie and uh, basically tries to kill them and there's a back and forth and so forth. Um, they're a really fun scene to, to end the movie with. Um, and then, you know, the final conclusion of the movie kind of skips forward seven months and then has a, a funny uh, ending to it. Um, kind of one of the things we talked about in the podcast is this is listed as a horror comedy, but um, I, I wouldn't get too overthrown into the comedy part of it. Um, the detective is, uh, like I said, the detective slash guy who puts the ankle bracelet on her, um, he's funny in his ways. Um, but and there are some funny lines in the movie, uh, but I, I don't think they, he's like meant to over, go over the top funny. Um, you know, there are some funny moments. The mom is funny in her personality, but again, you know, when I say funny, these are more more to go with the way the personalities are, not necessarily that the movie is is trying to be funny um, and it's is throwing jokes at you left and right. Um, like I said, you know, this is. Uh, uh, multiple stories on top of each other and um, and very you know and, and kind of sticks to the horror of it um, so don't don't get thrown off by by it being a comedy you know that there, there is here and there and and some of the personalities of the people can be funny but um, don't don't get thrown off by it, by it being a comedy you know that's something we talked about in the podcast as well and one of the interesting things the actress talked about um, was how they filmed this over like three years so 
you know, it was like they film something, they stop, they film, they stop, they film, they stop. So, you know, I thought that was kind of interesting, maybe why it's kind of such a built film, um, something that, that seems like it's spread over, you know, several different stories. Um, but, it, you know, it nicely plays out. Um, and I, I appreciated the end part with the person in the wall because it kind of reminded me of people um, under the stairs and how, you know, the guy that was um, free, I forgot his name, but the guy that was free and he was roaming the, the halls and, you know, helping um, the little boy out and then the, and helping the girl out and then pulling them into the walls of the house and moving around. So that kind of reminded me of that. So I, I thought that was an interesting uh, throwback there. Um, I don't know whether that was an influence or not in the film, but... Um, certainly made me think of that so that was fun so again you know I, I think this is a solid movie all around um, you know I, I didn't spoil you know who the killer is or who the main person the, that's doing the bad stuff in this movie may have spoiled you know some other things um, I'm sorry if I did um, but you were warned at the beginning and again this is 2014 so um, maybe you guys have already seen this or passed on it all together um, anyway I'm gonna give this one three pools of blood solid movie enjoyed it a lot um, again, don't get thrown off by the comedy part. Uh, good acting all around. And um, I think you'll really enjoy Kylie, the character, um, and, and her journey here uh, from being kind of a badass to not really losing that. Um, even, in, even in some of the scary supernatural parts that she get, kind of gets thrown into. Um, but yeah, some so solid movie all, all around and, and definitely worth seeing. Um, if you guys come across it so three pools of blood and uh, again I'll, I'll try to include the podcast link um, in the comment section down below so you guys um, catch more information about that uh, once the podcast is released uh, and can ca catch the the interview with the actress um, in addition to the, this review um, as always horrors Goy reviews you can catch more reviews subscribe to this channel more reviews there as well um, and social media down below so you can agree disagree talk about the movie with me there as well or in the comment section too um, so with that i will um, let you guys go and i will catch you on the next review horror fans